Uh, the Cabinet Committee <laughs> are looking at how help can be provided. Um, you know, things like... MOTs having to be done less regularly, perhaps some reductions in childcare if you if you cut the ratio um, or increase the ratio of, of, of staff to, to children. Every little helps. This has been 12 years in the making, I think, and the government's response always seems to be about lowering people's standards and changing, dialing down expectations of what ordinary life, everyday life uh, looks and feels like for people I represented. Jerry's obviously enjoyed some freedom. Now he's no longer t having to take the line. I agree with much of what he has said. The government needs to respond, not by committee, for goodness sake, but by executive order to give the economy and ordinary working people some pain relief, some economic pain relief. Um, and I think it's, it's shameless how tinier the government has been to date on this point. There is a, an immediate opportunity to take money from the, uh, the, the, the excessive profits, the unexpected and excessive profits of the energy companies who themselves have indicated that investment would continue and that they have, uh, as they put it, too much cash to know what to do with. So the answers are there. And to see the Queen's speech yesterday uh, introduce the concept of a cost of living crisis being a target of uh, this government um, and then all the bills that followed having no uh, relationship with that uh, circumstance. So we've got a cost of living crisis uh, in our uh, communities and we're living still with a prime minister who I'm afraid we're paying the cost of lying crisis with as well. I'm sure um, the prime minister would, would dispute that.